Hi there. Welcome to Leech News. Episode 42. Eugene on the scene. Yeah, too much sneak dissing going on these days. All the way around. From Ice Beside and the Hampton Brandon. And all the way downtown. And some other funny things. Let's take a look. What do you guys want from me? What do you guys goddamn what? want from me? I went to fucking LA for the first time. My first fucking, my first normal human fucking vacation. Imagine this, all right? You grow up in L not LA, Lithuania, right? Okay. Where is that? Middle of fucking nowhere. Nobody knows that, right? We don't have anything in Lithuania. I come here for the first time. I have a vacation. I'm scared. I'm gonna, I'm scared and I'm excited and I'm Baltic. Oh, right. And I'm not trying to like uh, justify it. I'm just apologizing. Um, and it was it was like a whole new world for me and so i was like god damn i'm not coming to the house because they're they're drinking and they're doing drugs and they're very scary did you see blade was the in the getting chat. shit faced i'm trying to get ropes and uh what else i mean what else do i need to explain what what else um. do i need to say you want to move in the stream house? Yeah. CX in the Yeah, channel. I want it. Yeah! I mean, let's be real here. She's building up the hype. She's trying to learn from Andy Milanakis. <sighs> Do things his way. Just like Andy learned from Ice Poseidon. Build up the hype. Let's build up the hype. Get everybody excited and overexcited. Get them ready to get that dono money going. Get everybody pumped up. For what? For another letdown. Because <sighs> let's face it, nothing really happened on these streams. She'll come back, come back tomorrow to bait some more donos. But nothing's really going to happen. She's not going to go in the hot tub with Uber. She's not going to marry her soulmate, Uber. She's not going to do anything that we as the fans or the chat wants her to do. It's going to be a bunch of nonsense. But hey, it's still entertainment. Still content. Doesn't mean you shouldn't watch. Just means she's going to be her usual overboring self. All her obsessed fans love that. The guys, anyway. And yeah, the females love making fun of it. It's unfortunate. She didn't go in the men's bathroom, what you mean? What? What? Oh shit! Why is the women's bathroom door open? There's no one here. I'm here. What? How do I flush the toilet? How many doors are bullshit? What do you mean? Just hit the just hit the button. Hit the button. Hit the button. Hold on. Just leave it. Just leave it. Somebody else will get it. Don't worry. The janitor will get it. Don't worry. Just hit the button. Let's address that annoying voice real quick. You could hear it all the way down the hall, a whole nother aisle. I know it probably echoes really bad in there because it's open space grocery store. But I mean, you could even hear it at the streamer mansion. Her voice screeching and echoing, and it you know her just being very annoying with her annoying voice. Sorry, just had to address that. Moving on. What you mean? All you gotta do is hit the button. I look like this. 
first anyway. Why am I in the bathroom with Grim Ward, homie? Like, what the hell? I would. I don't mind having low viewers. I don't really care at all. I don't really care at all. I stream for the people that want to watch me. If you don't want to watch me, leave. Very simple. You guys are just mad that your streamer that you come from is a drug addict who ruined his career. And you think that because I don't join his network, I'm like bad. Bro, just because I got banned from Twitch doesn't mean I'm gonna lose my mind, start abusing drugs, and uh, accepting a guy spitting on people's mouths and sticking his fucking penis into men's behinds. I'm not going to stand for that. And I will not join any fucking perverse network that's here on YouTube just because it's the only one. I would rather my channel die than go support a fucking sociopath, bro. That simple. Hold up. Now. Many, many, many allegations here that she could get sued for. Oh my goodness. I get that you're raging. But to say that weirdness about somebody that you don't know, that they're a drug addict, that they're homosexual, and that they're a raging sociopath. Saying this about someone you don't even know, probably little weird clips you watched from God knows where. <sighs> And I mean, I get it. You don't want to hang out with certain types of people. I understand that. You don't, you know, want a negative influence, if that's what you think. But you don't even know the person. You can't call someone a negative influence who, who you don't even know. You just see little bits and pieces of their life. And this is this is the way a lot of people live. A lot of people love to prejudge people and then say, don't judge me. When you prejudge the heck out of somebody for one little thing that, isn't even true about them. They love that. It's just weird. But it, at the same time, it's funny. The way she said, F this, F that, and then used the word PP and butthole or something like that. Or bungus or whatever word she used for for that. It's just, it's just weird and funny. You cuss, 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 cuss. Then you say PP and bunghole? It just it, she's just not making much sense when it comes to that to me anyway I don't know let me know in the comments I think I think she's weird she's just a strange individual spouting random nonsense I know y'all love her you think she's great I think she's stupid for just predetermining who someone is and spreading that rumor. I'm sure she's very influential. She's a blonde. She's skinny. And a lot of people love to watch that. And I get it because I say you don't have to watch me either. You can like or dislike whatever. I get it. I mean, I think that's a good idea to say, you know, do your own thing. But to say that and then follow it up with an insult to somebody and destroying someone's character nah I ain't with that I think that's stupid I think she needs to reevaluate her own life and I'm pretty sure there's a ton of people in her life that she's associating with that are just completely ridiculous people if she's acting like that and talking like that but yeah that's just my assessment on it that's just my opinion Again, I could be wrong. I, I honestly don't know her, so I'm not going to sit here and slander her character like she did to Ice. I just feel like she needs to check herself, you know what I mean? And you fall in that little, that little, uh, what's the word? I guess a uh, pocket of people who are hypocritical in that manner, you know what I mean? They say something about somebody else and then they're doing it themselves, you know. And I try not to do that, but I mean, I am a human being. I mess up, I'm, you know, 
I'm really stupid, but and I've done stupid stuff in my past that I'm definitely not proud of. So I'm sorry to you who I've done it to, 100%. And, you know, I'm trying to change my character. I'm trying to not be that person anymore. You know what I mean? And I suggest this weird little girl do the same. I'm not talking about you, Hampton Brandon. You're not a weird little girl. Andy Milonakis is. He's a weird little girl. But... Anyway, yeah, let's move on from that, because that's just... I'll just go on a tangent about how I don't like people like that. I especially don't like dumb blondes who act like they're smart and act like they know all and go around talking like they're high and mighty and smart and educated, but they're a bunch of dumb liberal SJWs who are just talking out both sides of their rear end. And, yeah. Anyway... I've said too much about that as it is. My bad, my bad, my bad. All right, let's see what else. I don't want to get the police called on me at all. Fuck that. I'm not going to jail. I'm not going to jail out here for that fucking camera. I ain't going back. I ain't going back. What'd you say? I said I ain't going to jail out here. I ain't. Oh shit! Let's go. Let's go. What? Yeah. We're gonna go to the. Let's go to the bar though. Let's go to the bar. We gotta go to the private area. I can't be drinking outside like this. I went to jail last oh, yeah, time man, I did this. Jail, Fuck a bar right now. <laughs> Fuck a bar. Fuck a bar right now. Fuck a bar and a fourth floor. I'm gonna take a on Main Street. Down on me. Bro, can I go to jail for this? We gotta do this fast, bro. Like, oh, we, we gotta we gotta go to jail. We gotta we gotta free, free. We gotta shotgun one of these, man. Uh, free, free. Uh, we gotta shotgun this, bro. Kick the fuck back, man. Don't panic. Main thing is never panic. I ain't out of you, dog. I lived in this motherfucker for four years. This hotel. They told me. I paid a lot of money. They told me that That's a lot of money, bro. I've been jigging in Motel 6. It's like 4000 a month. No, no, no. Fuck with that. Fuck with that? Fuck with that. How much does that cost? Spe- what? That's it? 1300 a night? A night. I swear to God. Do I look like I'm a joke? No. Evan is definitely doing money laundering for Charlie. Like Charlie was trying to get me to do, but then I wised up to what Charlie was doing. Moving money around PayPal and Streamlabs and shit, trying to make it look legitimate. That's none of my business. I don't believe a word SJC says. He tries to ruin people's character a lot. He did it with DJ. He's definitely did it with Farmer Charlie because they're easy targets. Not to say Charlie isn't doing whatever illegal activity he's doing, but yeah, he's playing the little gossip, sipping his little literal tea right there. That's so gay and stupid. Being a little sissy boy. But anyway, I don't agree with it. I'm off that whole SJC bandwagon. <sighs> he can go fly in the wind with the rest of them. Or being a bunch of idiots. Anyway. Yeah. Um. I, I Honestly, I just want to pacify people. And just say that chances are, most likely that stuff's not going to go up. Um, not necessarily because I feel like the content was damaging to everybody and it was and it was hateful but i feel like there's a there's a lot of people that have reached out and said that just the association alone has like impacted them in some way and these are people that support the patreon these are people that support the reddit they you know they go out of the way to buy the merch um so because of that i don't want to offend people you know just because i think it's a oh, funny content i don't want to um upset people you know what i mean so that, that's probably where it's heading. And it really does suck. I, I feel more upset because of how long it took to put it together. Because, like, we had to 
you know, go drive like, you know, f an hour in traffic. I had to buy the materials for this. I had Brett's help trying to gather stuff. I had Alex help just like scheduling alone took forever. So what basically we shot and then the whole, you know, he ended up on our videos and, uh, uh, and and as soon as, as soon as soon as I came home from from the shoot, it was like this giant, you know, forty thousand upvotes thing on Reddit that was like, you know, the Ponzi scheme shit. And I was like, well, I don't even know what's going on. That's when some of the clips were getting uh, passed around for me on my stream, where I was literally like, I just sat down in my house. I didn't know this is happening. So, yeah. Dude, you're way worse than all these other idiots talking trash. All you're doing is cloud chasing. You're just riding that viral fame all the way up. Riding off ISIS coattails like everybody else, dude. No one knows who you are. I don't even know your name. I didn't read the stupid little thing. I'm sure y'all did. Read his name because I don't know the stupid dude's name. I saw his dude next to him at Ice Poseidon's house leeching and getting as much footage as he could off of other people's streams I did not see them whatever they did I don't even know what they did and then you're going to believe Reddit seriously you're really going to be believe Reddit over the truth <laughs> what kind of idiots are y'all and obviously they're just following after Ice because I said 50,000 upvotes on Reddit and they said 40,000 upvotes on Reddit because they're obviously not as popular as ICE, but they're, they're trying to compare themselves like they're only 10,000 people behind ICE. Like there's such these big people who no one's really ever even heard of. <sighs> yeah, trying to climb that fame real fast. Yeah, it's just frustrating and so annoying to listen to people like this and believe them as like their truth or something like they're telling the truth to people like they actually care about somebody who are you who are any of you people you're only going to get clout off of shouting him out and then you're saying he's a failed guy he doesn't have a career in junk but you're getting all your fame and clout off of him how, how does that work exactly hmm I wonder. Really. Blandon. I know you like Hampton Blandon. He wants his chain back. <laughs> He's still telling me now. He wants his TTT chain. Listen, he not he doesn't need to worry about his TTD train. He needs to worry about, like, you know, checking out of the Motel 6 and getting his life together. Yeah, I know. I'm a complete asshole, and I don't understand how he doesn't see it, but for some reason... He thinks he's this moral, good person. Mm -hmm. And he's the most fucking delusional person I've ever met in my fucking life. The fact that he can't so watch his own streams back and realize that he's a fucking scumbag is mind-boggling. Mm -hmm. Andy, I totally agree. people just don't care. Like, uh, if you're a scumbag, why would the scumbag care that he's a scumbag? Not care, but be self-aware enough to know that you're fucking doing scummy ass shit. He has shit. no self-awareness. I, uh... I disagree. I think he has self-awareness. He's not stupid. He just doesn't care. Yeah. Well, he, pre but he, he definitely pretends delusional, that he's this sure. moral, great person. Um, he I, kept telling me, like, I sleep with a clean, co clean conscience at night. Are like, you really? Joking? How do you do that? I mean, everyone's morals are different. Like, everyone has, like, very objective morals. Yeah. Uh, which, or no, subjective morals. Which is, uh, you know, probably where that comes from. But I think he's self-aware enough to know that's where his confidence comes from. If he wasn't self-aware, I don't think he'd be confident. But just don't, like, if you're an asshole, why would you care about being an asshole? I don't agree with this whole line of thinking. Because literally, people have been saying the opposite of Ice Poseidon and Andy Melnakis. That they just aren't self-aware. So I think this whole both bull, bull sides of this, I think Hampton Brandon, Andy Milnakis, Ice Poseidon, it's all an act. Like, that they hate each other. I don't think they hate each other at all. I really don't. 100% don't. 
because you wouldn't be talking up people like this if you hated them. And yeah, you're just trying to salvage your last shred of whatever anyone else who's a normie who's in the popular opinion thinks about you and really it's a waste of time who cares really who cares be yourself do your own thing if you can't get along I think they can get along though that's the thing I think Hampton Brandon Andy Milnakis and Ice Poseidon and almost everybody else in there can get along great I think it'd be awesome if they all stream together if they all just built this whole community like I've been saying this, it could easily be a multi-billion dollar corporation within the next three years, maybe five. Probably longer than that if they keep on with this stupid I hate you, you hate, you hate me crap, which is a lie. Neither one of them hate each other, none of them hate each other. Yeah. They just do it to keep that drama effect going. Colin Hampton Brandon is a loser, like... That's that's dumb. I'm sure he has lost followers since he's been around ICE, but y'all got to learn to get along. That's the thing. You got to learn the different characteristics and personality traits are going to clash. It's going to happen, but not to fight each other over it. You got to learn to be real men about it and understanding human beings about it as well like real men have real class and they show true mascul masculinity through honoring one another and forgiving one another and you know keeping a better uh, rapport between each other and keeping that good vibe going that's a real man anyone who tells anything different is a liar like, you're not real a real man because you sock somebody in the face for saying something. It's, people are going to say stuff. People are going to make mistakes. That doesn't mean, hey, yeah, let me go punch you, and that's going to solve anything, or that's going to make you a bigger man, or them a bigger man. It just it doesn't work that way. That's not how manhood works. Manhood shows understanding and compassionate and uh, unconditional love. Love has no condition. Real, true love, like, I'm not talking about, like, gay perverted stuff or straight perverted stuff. I'm talking about just, like, real masculine, like, showing kindness to somebody, showing real love to somebody, showing compassion to somebody. Being a real man, that's a real man. Like, showing you care about somebody. I mean, why do you think women swoon over that kind of stuff? Because that's a real man. Showing your real heart and showing who you truly are, like as a man. Like, not sit, sitting here backbiting people like Andy Melnakis, Ice Poseidon, and Hampton Brandon, too. He's partaking in it because he's thinking he's defending himself. But, yeah, they're all in the wrong. They all need to know what forgiveness is. And you could be better, brighter people, and you could make a lot more money than you're making now. You're bragging about how much money you're making, but you're it's a facade, dude. You could be making real money. You could be being a real man. I think they're missing out. You're missing the bigger picture, in my opinion. Sometimes his streams are really entertaining. And I've always told him this, even when he's acting like an emotional bitch, I go, Look, <laughs> you're being an emotional little bitch, but I'll still watch your streams. I'm gonna keep it a hundred, right? I'll still watch clips of your streams. I'll still watch your streams. I'm not going to pretend you never have good content. But he was going after me about saying, like, your content <laughs> sucks and blah, blah, blah. And, yeah, you might have a point. But, like, staying in a Motel 6 and feeding your dog food and trying to buy a speaker for four hours, that's not great content. <coughs> it's not. <coughs> True. And when the only time you have bursts of good content is, like, Having the cops chase you down, yeah, it's it's entertaining. If someone does shit that's gonna get them in trouble and the cops come, I'm not gonna lie, that's entertaining. Mm -hmm. But like, if that's your only content, then good fucking luck, dude. I'll fucking see you in five years. Like, 
that you can't hold up. Like, he's had nine lives with run-ins with the cops. Is he getting in fucking trouble with the law? Then, yeah, I'll watch it. But good fucking luck, luck in life, you know what I mean? Good fucking luck in life. He's gonna be going to jail very soon again, probably. I'll still watch it. I'll watch those clips. I'll watch a whole stream of it. People just be sneaked this and without backing it up. Like, at least back something up with me, bro. At least back something up with me. Everybody who sneak this is, bro, they, they they don't say shit to my face. They don't pull up. You know where to find me, bro. When I'm in L.A., I've been in L.A. for a hell of a long time, bro. You guys just sneak this, bro. Say it to my face. Basically, I'm pulling my Andy Milonakis, bro. This is this how Andy Milonakis makes a couple thousand a month. I'm trying to act like Anthony Bourdain. All right, that'll do it. Leech News, episode 42. Eugene on the seat. And to sum it up, everybody's in the wrong. You have no right to say you're better than somebody else, dude. Nobody's better than anybody. We're all a bunch of losers trying to make it. And if you lord that over somebody because you made it, you're an even bigger loser. Like, that doesn't show that you're successful. doesn't show that you're rich. You're not rich, dude. I don't care how much money you got. Being rich is a lot more than money. I guarantee you that. It's having a better attitude at life. It's just having a better perspective. And not lording the moral high ground over somebody. Like you're better than somebody. I think these guys just don't get it. They just don't get it. Like forgiveness is key and you're just you're ruining each other's lives for what really for what like why are you ruining anyone's life who are you like you're not God you're not the devil so who are you ask yourself that truly ask yourself that like who am I being right now what am I doing just put yourself in perspective like what's going on here why is this happening? Why am I alone so much? Like, when there's so many people around me all the time. And so many blessings to be counted, you know what I mean? There's so much good stuff to enjoy and, you know, really be thankful for. And you're sitting there complaining about somebody else. When you could be enjoying those blessings. Like, that's just silly to me. I don't know. Again, I could be wrong, everybody. And I did go off on a tangent, and I'm sorry about that, but I'll just end it here and encourage you to be kind to one another. Don't take a negative influence and ruin your life with it. Try and, you know, be a positive influence on, on uh, in someone's life and on the people around you. And be thankful for them. Try and see the good. Try and see what's good around you. That's just an encouraging thing to try and do. I'm not saying it's going to be all flowers and butterflies. I'm not saying that at all. you got to th go through a lot of hard stuff to get to the good. Most days. But doesn't mean you can't try to be a better person. And that's that. All right. Love you guys.